Welcome everyone to Race Face TV and this edition of Who's Next. So we're going to be going up to Indiana for our guest today, nine-year-old Jackson Deal. So Jackson, how are you doing today? Great. All right. So my first question for you tonight is, what made you decide that you wanted to be a race car driver? Well, my dad took me to a race downtown South Bend, it's a dirt race. And well, I I didn't know what was gonna happen, but when there were, when it was right when when the car started going, I got super excited and I just loved doing it. And then my dad just started started it off. So you were basically hooked the very first time that you went. So yeah. now I've got a I've got a I've got a question for you. I understand that your dad and your grandpa actually helped work on your car. Is that right? Yeah. So who's the boss when it comes to making the, the big important crew chief decisions? No one really. No one I, really they, they work it, they work as a team? Yeah. Okay, now did your dad race quarter midgets too? Yes. Okay, so at what age did you actually start racing? Seven. Seven years old, so you've been racing for two years. So, yeah. you are a part of the Capital Quarter Midget Association because that's, again, that's where your dad started. So tell me a little bit about the Capital Quarter Midget Association. It's a great place. I mean, I have a lot of friends there and the track is actually, the track is really good. It's just a great place to be there. Now, is it, an have, have, is, it, is it an asphalt track or a dirt track? Asphalt. Asphalt. So do you do you do any dirt racing at all? No, but we're going to Eldora this year. Oh, going to Eldora. Well, that's a pretty famous place there. That's a lot of big things going on. Maybe you could get your quarter midget out there the same time they run the, the NASCAR super trucks. That'd be pretty cool, huh? I'm going to the super trucks race. You're going to the super trucks race? Well, I'll tell you what, that'd be exciting. Don't stand too close to the wall because I, I, I think those guys brush up against the wall about every lap. So let me ask you something. Tell us something that most people don't know about Jackson. Math is my life. I love it. Math is your life. So um, does that mean that you want to do something in, in mathematics when you get older? Yeah. Well, you know, one good thing is being good at math as you move up the ranks into the racing series, that could come in really handy because if you go into the big NASCAR shops right now, there's a lot of people there that are engineers and mathematicians because they're always figuring like fuel mileage strategy and downforce and stuff like that. So maybe that some of that stuff that you learn now, you'll be able to carry that forward. Yeah. Now, I understand that your, your nickname is the real deal. So where did you get that nickname? This guy named Bush that announces all, all, well, most of the national races. He saw I started winning a lot of heat races. And, start, and when I got, when we got to the big races, the um, main event, he'd start calling me the real deal. So he probably looked at a bunch of bunch of his buddies and people standing around and going, that Jackson kid, he is the real deal, and it's stuck. That's a pretty cool nickname. So we've got this little segment that we do. It's called Get to Know Jackson in 60 Seconds. Are you ready to play? Yeah. Okay, so here we go. What is your favorite food? Macaroni and cheese. What's your favorite video game? Fortnite. Favorite TV show? Practical Jokers. Favorite color? Neon green and neon orange. Okay, favorite superhero? Superman. Superman, all right. Favorite race car driver? Lewis Hamilton in Formula One. 
Jameson Twickman IndyCar and Kyle Busch in NASCAR. Okay, that's a good trio right there. If they were all racing in the same race, who do you think would win? Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton, you're probably right. Do you have a pet? A fish that belongs to my little sister. Fish. Okay, all right. All right, so let's talk a little bit about your quarter midget racing career. Now, in 2016, you won the Capital Quarter Midget Association Rookie of the Year. That would had to be pretty cool winning that uh, when in that the very first year that you were racing. Yeah, it was really amazing. Okay. I couldn't believe I did it. You couldn't believe that you did it. Well, that's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. So in 2017, you were the Junior Honda and Junior Animal Club champion. That was just last year. Yeah. I didn't really know what to expect going into Junior Animal or Junior Honda. Well, but I felt really good after the the first that year was over because I got two club champions and I feel really good about it. Just in my second year of racing and first year in a really tough class. Yeah, that's really cool that you won two championships in the same year. So did they give you some nice trophies and hardware for that? Yeah. They gave me the two red ones and the one black one. The two red ones and the black ones. Those are the ones sitting right behind you. So let me ask you something. What was it like to win your first race? What was that feeling like? Was it a feeling of excitement, of accomplishment? What did you, what, what did you, what was your feelings the first time that you pulled in to Victory Lane and got to stick that checkered flag in your car and take a lap around the track? Well, it was my first race, so I, I, I was really happy and it just felt amazing just getting, just getting to that checkered flag first place. I mean, not that many people have done it, and it's crazy when you just can't get that first win. Is that is that really cool to be able to take the checkered flag and do a lap around knowing everybody's watching you and the only car on the track? Yeah, it's really amazing and honoring. Well, you should, you've got good practice at it, because I understand that you just won your 50th career race, and that happened this past weekend. Yeah. And so where was that race? Where was that race at? It was at Kalamazoo. We wanted to do a fun race there. And on the when I was doing my victory lap, I tried to take it and go backwards. And I ran into the wall. All right. So you won the race, you stayed out of trouble, but then you get the checkered flag. They give you physically the checkered flag. You're gonna do a victory lap and you hit the wall. I was turning around. You were turned around. All right. That's funny. Okay. So, um, what is your most memorable race? Probably the one at, Na at Pocono, Pennsylvania, where I got third place in the Nationals in Junior Honda. Third place in the Nationals Junior Honda at Pocono. And when did you do that? Was that 2016 or 17? 17. 2017. <laughs> So I know to be a race car driver that a lot of times you have to make sacrifices. So what type of sacrifices have you made to pursue your racing career? Missing school, missing big play dates that my friends have and really my basketball and soccer games. It really isn't really to me. It, it's not really a sacrifice because it's so fun at the racetrack just being with most of your friends. Right. So the, the answer to my next question was, is it worth it? And that answer would be a definite yes, right? Yeah. All right. So let me ask you something about your friends. Do they think it's pretty cool that you're a race car driver? Yeah. One of my friends said that if he went out on the track, he would probably crash in the first corner. Probably crash in the first corner because it's not as easy as it looks, is it? Yeah. All right. So let me ask you a question. Not, Let's just say that your next race, okay, three of your best friends showed up at the track and they said, hey, real deal. Can we take your car for a few laps around the track? Would you let them? Even if they had a chance, no, because I didn't want to wreck it. And it would, it would make, I mean, it, I, it would give me a big chuckle, but no, not really. It probably would be funny. They'd probably have a whole new appreciation for what you do. So let me ask this question. 
I probably already know the answer to this, but who are your biggest supporters? My mom, my mom, my dad, my grandpa, and my two little sisters. All right, so basically uh, racing in the deal family is a family deal. Yeah. All right, so what are, your, what are the rest of your plans for 2018? Do you have any big races coming up? I got the Texas race coming up, the race at Texas, and Midwest Thunder races, and uh, the Brickyard, and Pocono. We're racing okay. at Pocono again. So let's go, let's go, let's talk about the Brickyard. Now, were you at the Brickyard last year? Yes. All right, so you got to drive your car around Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Was that yeah. cool or what? I mean, think about that. Really I mean, that's, cool. there's not a whole lot of people that get to do that. It was one of my biggest feelings ever, going around that track. I would imagine so, man. If, I'm a pretty big guy. I would even try to stuff myself in a quarter midget if they'd let me take a lap around the Indianapolis 500. So did you get out and kiss the bricks too? Yes. Did you give it a good kiss? Was it kind of dirty and sandy though? Yeah. All right. I, 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 I gave it a good one. You gave it a good one. Okay. So what are your racing goals? So if we had to look down the road, uh, in the next three or four years, where, what kind of cars do you see that you're racing? Are you still going to be in quarter midgets, or, or are you going to try to move up into something different? I would, I don't know, we're going to have to see, but I'm going to be in quarter midgets or go-karts that go on road courses. Go-karts on road courses would be a good thing. That, that'd be pretty good. Do you ever th consider maybe a legend car? Yeah, I'm going to go to the F1 cars when I'm done. Okay, so let's say that you're now 19 or 20 years old. What series do you really want to be racing in? If somebody was to say today, say, Jackson, look, you can only pick one series. Is it going to be F1? Is it going to be IndyCar? Or is it going to be NASCAR? Formula One. Formula One, all right. So one other question here before we end up. What does Jackson do when he's not racing? I really play sports like soccer and basketball. I go watch races. I play games with my friends, play video games, all that stuff. All right. So, Jackson, do you have any of your sponsors that you want to give a shout out to? DFC, ARG Fat Boys, Victory Custom Trailers, SS Racing. Map Lab, Logan Autism Center, and, and SS Racing. All right. Well, Jackson, I want to thank you for being with us tonight. Um, everybody, you're going to be able to see this. You can check it out on Facebook. You can check it out on our YouTube channel at RaceFace TV, or you can check out RaceFaceTV.com if you miss this and actually catch it at a later time. So, Jackson, again, thank you for being with us. There you've got it. Quarter Midget Racer. Jackson Deal, better known as The Real Deal, our featured driver on Who's Next. We'll see all of you back here next week.